Hi, so it's Richard. I'm just back on lunch from my uh, day job, which is a uh, freelance graphic designer at the moment, and I thought I'd put a quick video together. So this week I went with my good friend Lee to something called the Photography Show, which is uh, obviously as it describes as a photography convention here in the UK, uh, held at the NEC in Birmingham. Not sure whether it was because we went on the last day, but there wasn't really um, a buzz to the show, to be honest. I guess everyone had expended their uh, energy and their excitement for the first two days on the Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, being the, the last day Tuesday, I guess it was just a run down, the, you know, people were winding down. But yeah, it was uh, nice to get there, nice to uh, go and see the stands and see what people were up to. Meet up with some uh, friends and uh, some new friends that uh, actually have been watching this channel. Andrew, hi. Um, it was great to meet you. And yeah, it was nice to see some of the new products. I checked out the Sony uh, A7 III and um, we looked at the DJI stand, at the drones. Ooh, the one with the Hasselblad. <laughs> yeah, I said to Lee that he could have the uh, the drone and I'd have the camera. But yeah, I was, I was, I don't know really, I was um, underwhelmed I guess. As I say, I don't know whether it was because this was the last day and uh, all the excitement of the weekend and all the amateurs that go on a, on a weekend I guess. Um, but yeah, as I say, it was good to meet all the people. I think that's what mainly it's about, it's networking and talking to people in the industry, looking at new products I guess, like lighting and cameras. But. For me as a cannon shooter, I'm a bit disappointed at the moment because there isn't anything out there that really interests me um, to replace my Canon 60. So I had a look at the 5D4 which is getting old in the tooth as it is and uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be swapping anytime soon. Yeah, with the resurgence of film these days I was hoping that there would be a lot more things film related there. Um, there was Patterson and Lomography were there and there was a couple of stands selling odd rolls of film but nothing major. Um, one thing that did surprise me though was uh, London Camera Exchange. They had a, <coughs> I think it was, well they had two cameras, they had a Nikon FM2 and a Canon AE1 and the Nikon FM2 was selling for £499 which I'm sorry but that is just ridiculous so I don't know whether that was just a show price or they think it's worth that sort of money um, when I went to the Lomo stand I did actually come away with some yeah so I got some Lomography um, Earl Grey which is a 100 speed 120 film three rolls of that for 14 pounds which is pretty much what it's going for on Amazon so not really a saving
<coughs> I also picked up a couple of rolls of uh, Ilford FP4. Again, four pounds a roll, not really a saving on that. <laughs> I can get that online, but at least I didn't have to pay shipping, so I suppose I saved in, in a little way. So yeah, as I say, there wasn't really that much there that interests me. I'm not really bothered about Sony cameras, and definitely as Fuji seemed to be discontinuing a lot of films, I, um, I'm not really interested in Fuji at all. I know the GFX50 is a nice camera, but as I say, because they keep discontinuing films, Fuji seems to be on my hit list <laughs> of cameras that uh, I'm not even going to bother looking at. But I don't know if he was there to see my friend John or he was just there for the day anyway. But at the end of the day, the best thing about the day was to actually meet Steve with his new Chroma Kickstarter camera. And yeah, that thing is really nice. I saw it on the Kickstarter and thought it was a nice camera. I had a few questions um, and I really wish that I would have met him before because I would have ordered a Kickstarter having actually now seen the camera in, in person because this thing is beautiful. Um, I also now wish that I'd have seen it before I bought the Intrepid 4x5 because I wouldn't have bought the Intrepid having seen this camera. And so, um, fair play to uh, Steve. <coughs> He's actually not taking any more orders until he fulfills his Kickstarter. Um, campaign which obviously that's one thing that uh, Intrepid didn't do they were to still taking orders and got far behind um, but yeah Steve is a really nice guy and yeah so I placed an order for a 4x5 camera so that's something that uh, I'm looking forward to getting at some point like I said once he's sorted out all the Kickstarter but um, having talked to him and seeing he had a prototype of his uh, revisions that he made for the 4x5 which looked fantastic and really added some extra features that make the camera usable. Um, the other thing that he did mention is he was talking about um, some added features to do wet plate which is something that I'm really looking forward to getting into so I'm interested to talk to him more about that and I don't know if he might be interested but I would actually quite like to uh, go up to Manchester I think that's where he's from and sit and have a chat with him and uh, and do like an artist insight series which would be awesome but yeah as you can see with these pictures following or the video footage following should I say the camera looks really nice and the matte black wow, <laughs> looks really cool
So yeah, all in all, it was an okay show and wasn't really blown away by it. But as I say, because it was the last day, I think uh, you know everyone's energies were a bit low. And uh, but yeah, lots of meeting, lots of new people and meeting old friends which is really good always bumping into uh, my friend John is a good thing and uh, yeah thanks again to my friend Lee for um, basically dragging my ass down there because I was a bit mm, shall I go or shan't I go so yeah thanks Lee and yeah not much really to uh, report nothing exciting nothing new just some film <laughs> and uh, yeah on the camera giveaway, I'm going to let it run for a couple more days and then I'm going to get my friend Dave to uh, tell me who he thinks would be the person to receive the camera. And then I'll message you and uh, yeah, get the thing sent out. So uh, that'll be hopefully in a couple of days. I'll probably do something over the weekend, put it up. Um, yeah, so again, short one from me, but thanks for watching. See you again. I I also went um, with the resurgence of film these days. One of the things I was hoping that there'd be a lot more photography related, photography related stuff. Mm -hmm.